Hello everyone, this is JavaMonk, and welcome to episode 89 of the Survival Series. We're coming to the last 10 episodes of the series. So, in this, I guess, 11th to last episode, we're gonna get all of the remaining advancements that have not yet been, been unlocked. For example, the ones related to raids, the one related to a crossbow, the adventuring time, I'm not sure what to do with this one. Um, the eat everything, breed everything. We're essentially gonna finish all of the advancements. But first, some poetry. That's weird. The poem generator's broken again. Let's see. Are they... Are they stuck in these... Ah! Yeah, okay, that'd be an issue. So I guess we'll just read the poem from these hoppers. Limits I cannot compose. Every night he yelled, who? Two owls and a hen. Yes, I'll do it today. I'll be awfully sad when it goes. Okay. So that's our, that's our limerick for this episode. Our haiku is, ask for opinions. So much out there to explore. Pointless, wouldn't you say? So there we go. Let's, uh, let's fix this poem generator. And also... This is, this is a symbolic moment because now, we're running out of room in these chests. So, we're gonna have to add an extra chest to both the haikus and the limericks. There we go, the generator's working again. So, let's get some more chests here, and then we can get on with the plans for this episode. So the first advancement we're going to get is the eat everything. So, here's the thing. Here is a full list of every single food that needs to be eaten. Right on screen. Now, some of these I can knock right off the list. So, first things first, golden carrots. I literally eat it as my everyday meal. As my everyday food for end game. So, I don't need golden carrots. I also do not need to eat a golden apple. Or even, I, I might be need to eat an enchanted golden apple, but certainly not a normal golden apple. Because I know I ate it for episode 64. I also don't need to eat a pufferfish, because I ate that for episode 64. And let's see. I'm pretty sh Even if I didn't eat anything else, I'm still going to eat it. Because I don't know what's what. The, advan the advancement here only says I ate 18 out of the 38 required, and I have no idea which 18 I ate. So here we go, crafting up a pumpkin pie. I remember in one of my super old survival worlds, I used to eat pumpkin pie all the time. That was my... That was what I ate all the time, instead of golden carrots. Let's see. I've never crafted beetroot soup. So there we go, there's beetroot soup. I'm also crafting mushroom soup. And I have no idea how to craft a suspicious stew. I suppose that's what the... Are you kidding me? Suspicious stew's not listed? Okay, so it's like mushroom stew, but you add a flower. I'm hoping an oxide daisy doesn't instantly kill me. I actually have no idea what mushroom, what which suspicious stew does what. So I might have crafted some sort of crazy poison. So this will be fun. So let's see. I also need some potatoes, carrots, and things like that. Rocking around the Christmas tree, getting my hunger all the way down. First, we'll eat some mushroom stew, and I guess we'll poison ourselves. Okay, our hunger is nice and far down, so... So now we can chow down on all this stuff right here. That's currently clogging up my inventory. First, the melon slices. Figured we might as well get the, get the worst food out of the way first. And try not to eat these golden, golden carrots. And the carrots. In fact... In fact, let me get these golden carrots out of my out of my inventory. There we go. And now the beetroots. I know that pumpkin pies fill in a lot of those hunger things, so let's see. Let's actually get some rotten flesh. And fun fact, in this entire survival world, I've never had to resort to rotten flesh as my main source of food. So, yay. Next up, the poisonous potato. I'm not looking forward to this. There we go. Poisonous potato. 
that's actually not very poisonous. Okay, how about a spider eye? I had no idea you could actually eat spider eyes. I mean, who knew? Oh, I guess those things poison you as well? Very well. Let's see. I suppose might as well just eat a suspicious too right now. I have no idea what this will do. No clue. Oh, gave regeneration. Okay, that's a pretty nice suspicious too. It's not very suspicious at all. Okay, so while I still have hunger, I'm gonna just run around a little bit, try to get hungry again, and then I'm just gonna chow down on this tropical fish. Hey, here's a brilliant idea. That's actually not very brilliant. How, why don't we stand in the place where there's the most amount of places of holes and lava pits, and let's just chow down the chorus fruit. Cause why not? Let's say we That wasn't very eventful. Hey, that's interesting. I thought soup made a slurping noise. Hmm. Weird. And there we go. That's the first batch of food all eaten. Oh wait, there's the raw fishes. And also I think I have some cooked fish in here. Yep, cooked cod. Let's see the progress. Okay, we're almost done. So, I think in this second batch, which, is, which actually involves a lot of cooked things, I think in this second batch I'm gonna finally get the advancement. I swear, the rapid stew recipe is the most painful thing in the world. Okay, I'm just gonna cook a bunch of stuff in the smoker, because this way I can get things done nice and quickly. So, Man, rabbit stew is such a painful recipe. And this is the first, and likely the last time, I will ever craft a rabbit stew. Cause, good grief, that's painful. Oh, and also, I'm thinking we can celebrate the achie we can celebrate the end of this episode with a cake. So I'm just gonna leave that there for the end of the episode. And now let's get hungry again and chow down on all this. Oh, and just for good measure, I am going to eat a golden apple. I'm quite certain I ate an enchanted golden apple before. But just for good measure, there's, a, there's the golden apple. I figured, why not eat in a place where it's less laggy? So, here I am on top of the Christmas tree star, and now comes the final bit of eating. Rabbit stew. Wow, that actually filled up a lot. Dried kelp. Huh. That... I'm pretty sure I ate that way faster than I thought. Apple. The normal apple. And now, let's see. How about a big potato? Crap, now I gotta get hungry again. Okay. Cooked rabbit. Cooked salmon. Come on. And here comes the advancement. Steak. Cooked pork chop. Oh, come on. Okay, I have one food left. So, I wonder, which one is it? Cooked chicken or cooked mutton? We'll find out once I get hungry again. And now, the final test. Cooked chicken or cooked mutton? Here we go. It was not the chicken. Three, two, one, advancement get. We now have achieved a balanced diet. Very balanced diet, might I add, complete with spider eyes. Cause that's what it seems most diets can consist of. Okay, I'm hungry enough for a cake now. Uh, both in real life and in Minecraft. So, 
Let's just fly over there, and since it's raining, just use a Riptide Trident. Because why not? Tridents are awesome. Oh wait, we're gonna save the cake for later. Oh well. I guess I can just stash these seven cookies away, and maybe just... I'll just send the bolt to the box storage room. Okay, so that is a balanced diet advancement get. Next up, I think maybe getting... I'm thinking maybe we can get the breed all animals advancement. Although, so let's see. Pandas can be bred with bamboo. I do know that. I'm going to need to find pandas. Um, let's see. I still have no idea how to breed horses. So, there's that. I can also breed cats with fish. And dogs with bones. Or meat, actually. And, uh... Hang on, what is what does that list consist of? Here's a full list of all the mobs I need to breed. Now, I know for sure that I have bred cats. After all, that's what I did in episode 84. I also know for sure I bred wolves, sheep, pigs, cow and cows. Because that's how my... That's how the meat farms work. I'm not sure about anything else. I know for certain that I've not... That I've not bred together mushrooms because I've never seen a mushroom. Not in this world, anyways. And why are there an arrow and pants in here? So, I also need to find pandas because I have not seen pandas. I also need to breed together two foxes. I know where I can find foxes, and I know they can be bred with sweet berries. And horses, I'm pretty sure you can breed with hay bales. Or maybe that's llamas. I don't know. So I'm going to breed together two chickens and two foxes with sweet berries and seeds. And two mushrooms. Those are essentially, those are essentially cows, with, cows with chicken pox. So let's just put... So I can just breed together two mushrooms with wheat. And actually... Hang on. This trident has channeling. I'm pretty sure they added some feature where you can like turn a cow into a mushroom by striking it with lightning or something. I don't know. That's something to check. This is definitely a thing, right? Like, you can... Nope. Never mind. You can't turn cows into mushrooms by striking them with lightning. I thought that was a thing. Oh. I must have been thinking about something different. Get back, spider. <laughs> Struck down with lightning. The coolest way to kill mobs ever. Like, seriously, this is just... This is so cool. I can just give him a whack with the... Whack with the flick. Oh! Phantoms! I just remembered! Let me grab my crossbow. I just remembered. This is an advancement in the adventures section. Kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow. And also there's an advancement where you, you can... Where you have to kill five unique mobs with one crossbow. Which... I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I think piercing goes through multiple mobs. And I guess I can trap a, a cow, a sheep, a rabbit, and a chicken. Aha! Phantoms! Pow! Okay. So I have to actually kill them with a the crossbow. So they gotta actually be lined up. Okay. Okay, they gotta actually line up, which they do when they swoop around. Okay, this- oh man, this is going horribly. Just gotta weaken them a little bit. Okay. Oop, there were two lined up right there. What in the world? Okay. Whew, here we go. There's two. Ah, crap. They weren't lined up just perfectly. Okay. Bam. Oh, come on! Man, I so hate phantoms. Okay. There's more phantoms. Okay. Cool. Let's just kill these guys. Uh... Boom? Nope. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, come on! That was a... direct shot. Okay, gotta kind of run around on the zeppelin to actually 
get their attention. Let's probably just run around with the crossbow. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate phantoms. I just... I hate these things. Okay. We're in the middle of the night, so hopefully we can get some... Get some phantoms. So... Oh, man, I hate phantoms. Okay. Let's see. So that's the two chickens bred together. Who's attacking me? Nah. Whatever. Um... I'm gonna have to intentionally go out and find a mushroom, a mushroom island biome, so that I could possibly get two mushrooms. I think that's how that works. Let's see. We got the. Uh, let's see. I also need to team. I need, also need to breed together two ocelots, which I know I can do with the uh, rock hard. And, and actually, I can breed together the two turtles right now. Yeah, let, let's actually do that. Might as well attract some phantoms while I'm at it. Hey, phantoms! Come and get me! Okay. I've built a specific turtle island for the... For the turtles. So let's see. It's off this way. Oh man, I missed Optifine. Okay. There's the drowned farm. And... The turtle island is around here somewhere. Uh, it's right here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, here is... Whoop. Here is Leonardo. Okay. Let's see if any turtles have actually been, been shooting out of the mechanism. Just swim right up to Turtle Island. Whoa, that's a lot of turtles. Okay, then. Holy smokes, that's a lot of turtles. And there's a creeper wandering around somewhere. In the void. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think this is enough turtles. <laughs> yeah, let's just breed together two turtles. There we go. So one of them can swim up and lay their eggs. In fact, I think that's what that turtle's going to try to do right now. So that is... Okay, cool. So that's the turtles and chicken. So now we need mushrooms, ocelots, foxes, and pandas. Let's put together two llamas while we're at it. Llama one, llama two. There we go. And now, we've now bred two llamas together to get a baby llama. Okay. Hmm, that bar still hasn't moved. So apparently I've already bred together two llamas. You can scratch that off the list. So we also, oh, fun fact, you can breed rabbits with golden carrots. So I just need to find two rabbits. I'm just gonna find them out in the wild. You know what? I hate phantoms. I hate them. Hate them with a the passion. Ugh. It's so, so, so frustrating having to deal with phantoms and outdoors. Especially since they just won't cooperate. Just. You know, just get a. I only gotta get two to line up and then die. That's it. From a crossbow. <sighs> okay. Horses breed with hay blocks, right? No? Oh, come on. How do you breed horses? You know what? Forget that advancement. I'm not gonna get it. Nope. Not happening. Not today. Not ever. None whatsoever. Forget that advancement. Phantoms suck. So according to the Minecraft wiki, you can breed horses with golden apples. So that's what I'm going to try next, just as soon as the swarm of zombies burns. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Golden apples. Uh, isn't that how you breed horses? What? 
Okay, so apparently golden carrots can do the same thing. Uh, is it gonna activate love mode or not? Seriously, what in the world? Do you need to tame the horses? I guess. I don't know. Let's try it. Okay. Come on, horse. Please cooperate. I have no idea how to breed you guys. <laughs> okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. You, sir. And you, ma'am. Please. Please breed. Can you not see each other? Yeah. Come on. The Minecraft wiki said this is how you breed horses. So... Come on. Are you kidding me? Well, there we go, finally! And baby horse. At some point. Right? At some point? There we go! Baby horse! Okay, that's one mob I have not yet tamed, so we can now check that off the list. And checked. Okay, next up, rabbits. It's rabbit season now. See, I knew it wouldn't take long to find, to find some rabbits. Here we go. And now they can breed and live happily ever after. There we go, baby rabbit. And that didn't count up. So apparently I've already bred two rabbits together. Lovely. Let's now find some... So now all that's left is foxes, pandas, and ocelots. Oh, and also mushrooms. Ah, two cats. I mean, two ocelots. Breed. Please, breed. Okay. Now just dive underwater and hope that the ocelots figure themselves out. And then it can be checked off the tally. Okay. Seems by hiding underwater, the ocelots are able to breed. Okay. Do I have a baby ocelot? I think so. Okay, but it didn't count. I think that's a baby ocelot. Yep, there's a baby ocelot right there. Okay, cool. Ocelot requirement complete, so we can check that off the list. So now what we need is a fox, uh, foxes and pandas. Now, I actually have no idea where to find pandas. I think they can be found in jungles, but maybe not this one? I don't know. So, looks like I'm in a new part of the giant jungle that's next to the jungle temple. There's the singular stalks of bamboo, which actually I got the I got the starter bamboo from fishing in the jungle, so that's cool. But what's even cooler is that this is a second jungle temple in this jungle. So I guess let's check it out. Might as well just run in and raid the place. Let's see, where's the entrance? That's always the most difficult part, it's finding the entrance. Okay. Here's the... Man, it's really dark in here. So, uh... Let's just run right in. Oh, cool! We've got some emeralds and diamonds. The bones can stay. And in fact, let's donate some things to the... to the cause. There we go. Okay. And... I'm actually... I'm gonna need these arrows. Out of arrows here. And, well, we got some arrows in here, so I'm just gonna steal the arrows. There we go. And as for actually unlocking the jungle temple, here's the passcode. Right, left, left, right. Because this is a gem door, essentially. Alright, bingo. And in this chest, we got, okay, bamboo. That's not very helpful at all, actually. Man, this. This treasure is worse than the one in the inside the temple. Interesting. Okay, and let's just 
cover that up. There we go. And we're out of here. Let's find some pandas. Surely they gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, looks looks like there's a spruce forest right next to one of the right next to the jungle. So, uh, ah, oh, brother, foxes are just as squeamish as ocelots. Ah, oh, brother, this will be complicated. Come here, fox. You don't you want some sweet berries? Nice try, foxes. You don't have depth strider. Eat the sweet berries. There we go. Now just dive underwater. And wait for a baby fox to pop out. I found two pandas in a bamboo forest. So, I led them to a super duper thick part of this bamboo patch because in order for, ban for pandas to actually enter love mode, they need to have eight blocks of bamboo within a five block space around both of them. I think this is eight around them. I hope. Let's see. And bingo. It worked. Okay, that is... We now have one last animal to breed. Ooh. An apple and a stick. Okay, then. Why the apples? No, that's not an apple. Okay, I gotta get out of this bamboo, f bamboo jungle. And then fly over to the near to a nearby mushroom island which i found via mine atlas and it is very far away from here welcome to the mushroom island home to the mushroom of which two of them i shall now breed and baby mushroom two by two chat advancement get yeah Oh, and fun fact, as I was flying over, I got, I only have one biome left over. So it turns out I discovered a whole bunch of biomes as I was flying over. So, I guess the last biome is Mushroom Hills, I'm pretty sure. So all I gotta do is just run around here, see if I can get, okay, so this is Mushroom Fields biome. We have a Mushroom Fields Shore, I think. And then there's also a adventuring time. All right. And that is the last multi-part advancement. We got adventuring time. Now all we need is to finish a raid and kill five, five animals at once. Five unique animals with one piercing arrow. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not going to do the phantom one. If I get it accidentally, so be it. But... I'm not going to go out of my way to do it, because phantoms suck. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was mushrooms that did something weird when they were struck by lightning. Aha! That's what it was. They turned into brown mushrooms. And then if I strike them again... Am I supposed to turn back into red mushrooms? Red mushrooms? Maybe? I don't know. Let's test it on this guy. Okay. So that was an interesting sound effect. And now... Turn... Huh. I thought they turned back into red mushrooms when you struck, struck a brown, brown mushroom, mushroom with lightning. Oh well. Well this is cool. I saved the coordinates of this mushroom island in case I want to visit it again. So... Now I, I say we head... Let's head back to the mansion and then we can do some... And then we can do a setup for the five, cra five mob crossbow. I'm currently setting up for the for the ultimate crossbow challenge. So I've now trapped a I've now trapped a horse, a chicken, and a zombie in this lineup. So next up, I gotta make sure I don't go trapping things like skeletons, because skeletons will try to shoot me, and I don't want things trying to shoot me while I'm while I'm aiming at them with a crossbow. Um, you know what's more effective? Multi- Multi-shot. Multi-shot is much more effective. I don't even have to aim with this thing. This is great. Crossbows are pretty cool. Not as cool as- But they're not as cool as the trident, in my opinion. So there we go. We now have a horse trapped, and a zombie, and a chicken. So next up, I'm thinking we can trap maybe a pig here. 
and a... I guess I could try to trap a creeper? I don't know. Or maybe... Maybe I can trap a villager. Before we get too much further, let's make sure that Johnny the Zombie, Johnny the Horse, and Johnny the Chicken don't despawn. There we go. The fifth and final mob to shoot with the crossbow is the spider. Or maybe not. Maybe a spider isn't such a good idea? I don't know. Let's see if we can trap him. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be trapped by the system. Maybe I could just find a donkey. Now here's the thing about the... So we have five mobs lined up in a row. We got the donkey, horse, zombie, pig, and chicken. Now here's the thing. The crossbow is not guaranteed to kill them instantly. And so... And for the herbalistic advancement, we need to actually kill them. Sadly. I, I really don't want to kill Johnny the horse or Johnny the donkey, but they're the easiest mobs to catch. So... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to punch them until they are at half a heart of health. At which point, the crossbow is guaranteed to kill them. Alright, all of the mobs are now at one health point. So, here's the plan. The crossbow shoots nice and straight of a line. Thank goodness. So, I'm essentially going to duck underneath the slab and shoot them all. I, I'm would probably... Probably not the first to admit that this is rather cruel. But here we go. For the advancement. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Advancement get. Our ballistic. I am so sorry. I, I feel very bad about the horse and the donkey. The zombie not so much, but certainly the... Horse, the donkey, the chicken, and the pig. But there we go. Advancement get. And actually, so, I only have one leftover advancement. And that is to save a village from a raid. So, let's see. I did, so, so far in this episode, I did one absolutely horrible thing. One pretty relatively good thing. I'm not, not exactly Christopher Columbus, so discovering every biome does not mean death for those in there. And also ate everything and bred everything, so super good thing. And now I've finished with the absolutely horrible thing, so now let's become a hero again. In fact, I feel so bad, I'm putting a monument here. And looks like another zombie got stuck. Would you look at that? So, cool. And now I really have no purpose for the piercing bow, piercing crossbow, because I'm not going to get that phantom advancement. So I got the super, supposedly the super challenging advancement of killing five mobs at once, but I'm not going to get the phantom based one. So I'm now heading over to the ice plane spikes biome, because I know in episode 84 or something like that, we were dealing with a raid, and... Turns out, it would have been a never-ending raid. But would you look at that? Here's a pillager captain. Which did not give me bad omen effect. Huh. Well, anyways, we got another ominous banner. Would you look at that? So let's head over to that, to that village that was currently in the middle of a raid before I bravely ran away. And it's a good thing I bravely ran away, because that was a never-ending raid. So now let's end the raid. I've set my spawn point near the village, and now, let's end this raid already. Come at me, pill pillagers. I have your own weapon that I can now use against them. Whoop, we got a Ravager. Ravager! Alright. So let's kill the Ravager first. There we go. Go. Phew, okay. Ravager's down. So now we can go after the other go after the others. And what in what in the world are those particle effects? Ooh, an evoker. Kill kill this guy do it nice and quick. Sweet, totems of undying. At this point this is like wave number what, eight of the of the raid? 
Something like that? Hey, Vindicator! Stop running around! Seriously. Knock it off. Okay. Hey, Vindicator! Let's see if I can... Let's see, gotta get rid of the Vindicators first, because those things are actually dangerous. Like, legitimately dangerous. Oh, crap. Run away, run away, run away, run away! Man, those Vindicators are strong! <laughs> okay, I have to pause the game because I'm not sure if I could actually catch this, otherwise. The Evoker's going super speed! Like, what in the world? He's like, but he's it, a roadrunner? <laughs> Yikes. Must have been aided by the witch, I'm guessing. Okay. This should be the last pillager of the final wave. Nope, the raid's starting back up again. Don't tell me we still have infinite raid problems, right? We don't, right? Let me cover up the that house just in case. We might still have issues with infinite raids. This is bad. Was that the raid horn? Oh yes it was. Oh my goodness, two evokers and a ravager. Oh no, I'm so dead. So dead. I'm out of here. See ya! <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we have issues with infinite raids still. And I just used a totem of undying to save myself. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness for evokers in these raids, because good grief. There's a third Ravager? I, I've now killed two Ravagers, and there's apparently a third one. Oh my goodness. These, <laughs> these raids are just mayhem. Thank goodness I blocked off that one villager. I suppose here I can trap the Ravager? Nope, he can still fit through. And there's an evoker right behind him. Lovely. How many Evokers are there? Okay, that is just unfair. An Evoker riding a Ravager. Good grief. Oh my goodness, I had no idea that was an actual combination. I, I guess any Pillager can ride a... Anything from a raid can ride a Ravager, but... Seriously. Jeez. Okay. Die, Mr. Witch. Or Mrs. Witch. Seriously. You are annoying. Okay, we have two raiders remaining. Hopefully this is the last wave, because I'm not sure I can survive yet another increase in level. I'm quite certain I won't be able to survive it. Yes! Hero of the village! And I'm about to be killed by Vexes. Lovely. Okay, I am now the hero of the village! You hear that, Vexes? You don't count as raiders. I'm the hero! Alright, and I get, like, Hero of the Village effect for an indef indefinite amount of time. Alright, Villager, you may come out. It is... Nope, it's not safe yet. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, hey, Vexes. Can you, like, please, like, die? Oh my goodness. <laughs> These Vexes are just crazy. Hi, Mr. Villager. I'm just wondering, now that I got all this stuff, what did you sell? Oh my goodness. I can get buckets of cod? <clears throat> yes, please. And one string for an emerald. Yowza, those are low prices. Are there any other live villagers here? Also, don't vill- I- I thought that villagers shoot off fireworks. Oh, he just did. He just drop this out of my in out of his inventory. I think he did. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Let's see. I've I've never really played around with the hero of the village effect, so I don't know. Do I now go run around and parade the fact that I'm the hero? I don't know. Does this apply to every village I visit now? Hmm. This is kind of a ransacked village. I, w 
I'm betting that's the only villager alive. I'm so sorry, Mr. Fisherman. You are the only surviving surviving member of your village. Hmm. Man. Okay, well that kind of sucks. But, you know what? This is cool! We now have all of the advancements! Complete! Except the one with phantoms, because phantoms suck. But yeah, every single advancement has now been completed. Every single one. That actually matters. So, I say, let's head back to the mansion and finish the episode with a cake. And, uh, don't mind me, Mr. Villager. I'll take this bell. There's no other place to get these bells, so I'll just steal that one. And the final meal for this episode, the cake. Delicious cake. So, thank you for watching this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. We now have every single advancement achieved, except the phantom one. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know, and I'll see you next video.